Greetings, I am God of Knockers and welcome to the Knockers Review. A review where we talk about all kinds of stuff. It's like a show, but not. You know, I review movies and uh, games and anything that just happens to tickle my fancy. And speaking of things that tickle my fancy, we're going to review an interesting horror film which I had the, I guess you could say, the privilege of watching. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's a good thing or not. It's called Don't Fuck in the Woods. And we'll be reviewing it while I play one of my favorite games, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. So uh, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so when you first look at the cover of this movie, and by the way, I um, picked this up on IMDb. A friend of mine recommended it, but um, because I was reviewing it, I didn't look at any trailers. I didn't look at any other reviews. I mainly just went to IMDb and looked at the cover for the thing. Uh, that was kind of my mistake, I guess. I don't know. But if you look here on the right of the video, you'll see that this is the um, poster cover for the movie itself. And what we have here is a woman who appears to be in her underwear. Um, and she's, you know, hiding a hatchet behind herself. And there's the title. The first thing that drew me to it was the title of the, of the film. I know, there's, there's a butt there. I see it. I'm not blind. I just wear glasses so I can see more. But the thing is, is that this this is an interesting title for a film I mean how many movies do you know of that actually have the word fuck in them and they're not porno I just know of the one it's this one now this is an indie film which was released in 2016 by uh, Sean Burkett it was directed and written and it does have some uh, a very familiar face in it there's a what was her name? Brandy Mason, I think? I think I've got the name right. I might be wrong. If, I, if I'm wrong, I'll just put an annotation in the, the thing. Uh, but she's in this as well. Of course, she's a Scream Queen, which is, you know, that's fine. I'm okay with that. That's one of the things that I like about the film, was that she was in it, because she is pretty good. She's been on a lot of covers, and a, uh, starting quite a number of movies as a Scream Queen. I'm down. Um, the second thing I liked about this movie was the cover. I mean, it's just, it pulls you in. And unfortunately, that's about all I really liked of the film. See, when you look at this cover, you're thinking probably to yourself that, hey, it's uh, some crazy woman who has some kind of uh, kick or some kind, or maybe a fetish about, oh, I don't know, luring people to sex, maybe men and women, or maybe just men, I don't know. And, you know, either before or after the deed is done, she kills him. I hacks their ass the fuck up and it just happens to take place in the woods so you're thinking this is kind of like a, a hybrid of the two I mean a movie that has a swear word in it it's the word fuck in the title that's awesome and it's it just seems to be like one of those psychological slash and hack things sadly that is not the case when you watch the movie you discover that the uh, antagonist of the film the one thing as to why that's killing everybody and everything is actually a creature of unknown origin. See, so yeah, th that's that's one of the things I hate is when things aren't you know properly explained, you know, theming and conveyance, as it were. When you can't be bothered to do that, then a movie kind of goes downhill. And in this case, and don't fuck in the wood, don't fuck in the woods. That's exactly what happened. Because I I look at this movie and I look at the creature. Few things that I have issue with. First and foremost, what the fuck is the creature? See, the whole time I'm watching this film, I'm thinking, okay, maybe I missed what it was. And maybe I just need to pay more attention. I actually watched this motherfucker twice after the initial viewing to make sure I didn't miss it. And it, no, nowhere is it ever mentioned that what the creature is or why it's even there. You don't know why it's in the woods. You just don't. I mean, what's his motivation? What's what's driving it? Is it some kind of supernatural being that got called in from another dimension and it just got stuck here? I don't know. Is this some kind of, uh, 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 maybe some kind of, uh, oh, fuck, I, I don't know. Maybe some kind of uh, a creature or an animal that wandered into some kind of really funky, toxic waste and it turned into this? Also, why is it fucking, why does it kill people who have sex in the woods? I don't understand. Another thing. Does it just kill people in the woods, or what? There's all kinds of animals in the woods. There's birds, there's, uh, there's fish, various uh, various insects, you know? And uh, I, just, I just don't get it. 
what, what does it do? Is it an alien from another dimension or, or a universe or from space? From, another, from a distant planet in a distant galaxy somewhere? And it crashed down on Earth and it was like, okay, you know, I'm not going to be able to get my ship fixed, so fuck it. I'm living in these woods and that's it. And it's kind of like, okay, maybe it sees that it's some kind of a trespassing thing? I don't know. When you have to think this much about a film and what its premise is with the antagonist, that's going in the wrong direction for me, no matter how much ass or tits there are. And there is quite a copious amount in here. It's very prevalent. So much ass. And that's one of the mainstays that I have with this. The majority of this film falls the fuck apart because you don't know what the creature's all about. I don't know what the creature's all about. It's never really explained. It just never is. Another thing that we don't get to see from the creature, how it kills people and why it kills them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. You never once at all, at any time in this film, get to actually see the creature actually kill somebody. You just get to see bits and pieces. You know, sometimes if there's a uh, you know, a man or, or a woman in the case of sex or something, you might hear like a squishy noise and then there's blood for a second and then it's like, oh, okay, but how did he do that? Did he, did he punch them? Did he slash them? Does he have like some kind of, you know, apparatus? We don't really know. It's never really explained. No one ever really says, hey, how was this creature killed? It just doesn't make any sense. And I just, I can't figure it out. I mean, I've been thinking about this for, ever since I saw this movie the three times. Not once, not once, did it ever occur to me as to why the creature is doing this. Why, what is the point of it? What does it do with the bodies afterwards? We never see that. It is never thoroughly explained as to why this creature is killing people in the woods while they're having sex. And it's not like after, it's while. While they're in throes of passion, he's, he just goes and kills them. I don't understand it. We never get to see any of it. Another thing that this movie suffers from is, well, I don't remember any of the characters. And when I say that, it's not because I was distracted by the breasts or the ass. I mean, I actually legit don't remember any of the characters, male or female. I only remember Brandy Mason's character, played by Meg, because she's probably the only one of two people who actually had an interesting way of going. You know, she was having sex with, her character was having sex with the, I guess, boyfriend, I don't know, in the woods, in the tent. And then, you know, just as they're reaching crescendo, if, you, if, the, if I'm being nice about it, they, uh, all of a sudden, she turns around and it's like, dude, I'm not into that type of shit. She's a big giant hole in the man's chest. But it doesn't explain how the big giant hole got there. Does he punch? Does he strike? Does he slice? Does he hack? Does he slash? We don't know. <sighs> the second memorable death is of the stoner. That stoner dude. He's the only one that I can remember because besides the besides me that I can legit remember because um, when he is about to die and he has his like stomach split open and I guess his heart was ripped out. I don't know. Can't really tell. The special effects in this thing are incredibly mediocre. Ooh, so mediocre. But just as he's dying, he, you know, pulls out a joint, smokes it, and then gives the finger to the creature saying, fuck you. And the creature responds by, well, pouring some kind of green liquid into his cavity. I don't even, you don't even get to see that. I don't know if this is like just one giant spitball that's just coming out of his mouth or something or is it some kind of acid that he's pouring in there or is it some kind of preservative or uh, I don't know it's just some kind of green gunky shit that's just flowing in the dude's chest you don't even see where the gunky shit comes from I don't know if this dude vomited it or if it was just something that came out of a part of his body or, I don't know what it is what does it do what is the purpose of all of this I don't know I honestly and truly don't know I mean, I get that this is an indie film, so I, I don't want to trash it too much, but it's kind of hard to do that when you've got all these things and elements missing. It's all fractured and just terrible. You know, and I don't know if it's trying to, if the movie's trying to make a, a, a joke of itself or it's trying to be one of those films that doesn't take itself seriously. I can't really tell, but it just feels like this is a lazy way to tell a horror film. 
You know, I, I, it was made originally on a budget of $10,000, which is fine. I understand you can only do so much with very little, okay? But seriously, there are movies that have ran a budget of ten grand, and they have done far better stuff. Better everything, really. And I just... I just don't understand why they couldn't do it with this. You know, the, the whole storyline and the premise is highly misleading. They've only recently incorporated, um, what is it? It's like uh, poster images of the creature. Uh, if you go to uh, Vimeo On Demand, which is where you'll find this, there's also a DVD of it as well. They've incorporated uh, pictures of the creature uh, into the film. Beyond the scope of that, this is all you get. It's just a woman carrying a hatchet. Oh, and by the way, no one has a hatchet. There is no crazy psycho bitch in the woods killing people before or during or even after sex. It, that's not a thing. All there are are two people. Maybe, it, actually sometimes in one case there was actually a dude who came across the teenagers in this movie, or college students as I may say, and they, and he saw a couple of them and started to fantasize about one of them, so he went somewhere into the woods and started masturbating near a stream creatures somehow managed to creep up on him we never see that by the way and just grab him and that was it we don't even hear any fucking noises of any kind like you know did he what did he do to him we never see him again after that all we know is is that he gets snatched and that's it we don't see how he got snatched we don't see anything and it's just it's so stupid I really had a lot of premise for this movie because I was expecting a, a mix between a, a psychological horror and a hack and slash horror. Something that was gritty. Something that was against the grain. I like that. I, I need something like that. Uh, unfortunately, Don't Fuck in the Woods is not one of those things. If anything, this feels like a movie uh, that's mainly designed just to show, you know, naturally, uh, uh, natural breasts and shapely backsides. That's it. That's all it really is. I just, I just couldn't take it seriously. I do not recommend this movie to anyone who actually likes legit horror movies that, while their premise might be silly, the, the quality is up there, you know? You, you, want, you get some plot holes, you get some type of reasoning as to why the antagonist is doing what they're doing, and why the protagonist is doing what it's doing. It's just, it's, it's just nonsensical. I do recommend this movie if you're the type of lazy person who might be up at 3 in the morning in a state of semi-consciousness, lying on whatever it is you're lying on, whether it be a bed, a couch, or even in a hammock, and you just don't want to get up and look at porn on the internet. That's the only people that can that I can recommend watching this film. Beyond the scope of that, it's just it's not worth your time. So, with that said, this concludes the Knockers review. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please leave your comments down below. Like and uh, favorite and uh, blah, blah. I got mixed up at the end. Like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. I'm going to try and put out at least one or two of these a month if I can. And if you have any movies that you suggest I watch, go ahead. I'd love to hear from you guys. It's totally cool. For the Knockers review, I was God of Knockers. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and we will see you next time.